One Piece may not be a story that kills off their characters very often, but what they lack in quantity, they absolutely make up in quality. And some of these deaths really stand out above the rest due to the character's gravitas and influence. I mean, Roger, Odin, and Whitebeard are some of the most prime examples, and it's something that Kaido himself has admired and longed for. And I think something that really makes these deaths feel so profound are their final words that go on to change an era. And I think we're about to see yet another Another one of these grand deaths in the very near future, particularly because of the recent events in chapter 1071, meaning that the character I have in mind is none other than Monkey D. Garp. We now know that Garp is officially headed to Hachinosu to take on the Blackbeard Pirates in order to save Kobe. And the main reason why I think Garp's outlook isn't looking too bright right now is because there are an immense amount of parallels between these events and what led us to Marineford. Instead of Blackbeard giving up a hostage to the Marines that then lured out an old legend like Whitebeard, we now see Blackbeard with his own hostage that's luring out an old Marine legend like Garp. And there are also a lot of similarities between Garp and Whitebeard in general. Both of them were rivals to Roger, which should put them on a similar power level. Both of them adopted Ace, at least to some degree. And both of them were willing to take on a massive threat in order to save someone close to them. While Kobe may not be a son in the same way that Ace was to Whitebeard, Garp did take Kobe under his wing for the last two plus years and helped him grow into who he is today, which is far above who he was on Alveda's ship. Garp said that he would kill a Kainu if Sengoku didn't let go of him, and shortly thereafter we saw Kobe get in the way of a Kainu all on his own. And since Garp has always wanted his kids and grandkids to become Marines, I can imagine that Kobe does feel almost like a son to Garp by this point. And just about anyone that crosses Blackbeard at this point might as well be waving their own death flag. We still aren't sure what happened to his fight with Law, of course, but whether it's Thatch, Ace, Bonnie, Absalom, Boa, or or even his stone statue crew members, Blackbeard has always proven to be a bit more lethal than most other characters in One Piece, by either killing them outright or just taking them as a hostage to use as a bargaining chip. And if Garp were to die by the hands of Blackbeard, or maybe some of his crewmates as well, that would make it twice now that Blackbeard either directly or indirectly took out one of Luffy's family members. In the pre-time skip, Blackbeard was actually hunting Luffy when Ace caught up with him. In the post-time skip, Kobe just had happen to go to Amazon Lily at the same time as Blackbeard and get in the way, and then Garp is the one who made the decision to attack Hachinosu to save him. Blackbeard never purposefully wanted to hurt Luffy's family, if anything he just wanted to hurt Luffy, so it would make that grudge between these two even deeper, even though Luffy's family members were the ones that got in his way. It's like time and time again, fate keeps putting Luffy's family in the way of Blackbeard, so that maybe Luffy doesn't fight him till the right time or something. And one of the biggest factors here is that, much like Whitebeard, Garp is also old and past his prime. While he doesn't seem to be sick like Whitebeard was of course, he relies entirely on his strength in hockey when he fights. That's why his name is literally Garp the Fist. But Whitebeard had his Quake Fruit, which seems to work pretty damn well no matter how old or injured you get. And we know age does matter in One Piece because even recently, we saw Rayleigh say that his reputation helped him on Amazon on Lily since he wouldn't be able to beat Blackbeard anymore. But despite the fact he's past his prime, if Whitebeard's performance in Marineford is any indication, then I think we're about to see some absurd feats from Garp before he ultimately does get killed off. I have no doubt that if Garp were to die here, then he would definitely go down in a legendary blaze of glory, which means that we'll probably get to see Conqueror's Hockey on an entirely new level since Garp is supposed to be one of the literal strongest people in the the modern history of One Piece. And not to mention, this is occurring in the post time skip when hockey is a lot more fleshed out, especially post Wano, so I think it would make a lot of sense that we can now see what Conqueror's hockey is really capable of. And on top of that, Blackbeard's crew specializes in Devil Fruits, which as we've seen recently with Female Law, Devil Fruits can have their effects nullified through strong enough hockey. While we have a lot to learn about this process for sure, I can only imagine that having a Devil Fruit powered crew 
Giroux facing off against someone who should be one of the best hockey users in history is a perfect time for Oda to show us what's really going on here. I mean, we've already seen how Conqueror's attacks can land without even touching. Someone like Garp might be so strong that Blackbeard's crew even struggles to land a blow on him since they don't really seem to be hockey specialists. I mean, remember when Shanks walked on Whitebeard's ship and damaged it just from exuding so much hockey? Or how Shanks used Wi-Fi hockey on Green Bull? I think we're about to see that, but maybe even another step above, since Garp is supposed to be one of the most legendary physical fighters in all of One Piece. I mean, one of Blackbeard's trump cards, being the Black Vortex, is only going to bring Garp's fist closer to his face. And since I know my viewers are all on top of their game, you may all be thinking about how Blackbeard isn't even on Hachinosu Island right now. Because last we saw, he was fighting Law over on Winter Island, which really isn't all that far away. And based off who we saw there, Hachinosu could have Shiryu, Vasco Shot, Katarina Devon, Avalo Pizarro, Lafitte, and San Juan Wolf, because we didn't see any of them over on Winter Island. Which, honestly, that's plenty of firepower already. Not enough to beat Garp and his squad, of course, but probably enough to delay him or give him some trouble or something. So what I imagine happening is that Garp is gonna get there before Blackbeard, show us some big-time feats and save Kobe, but then Blackbeard arrives before they escape. And this altercation is what will lead to Garp having his own grand death, much like the other legends in One Piece, because it will also provide a chance for Kobe to escape. And I think the thing that will ultimately give Blackbeard the upper hand is the very same thing that scarred Shanks all those years ago. Shanks told us that he got that scar while taking him seriously. And since Shanks is also someone that I think we can safely consider a bit of a hockey master, maybe this fight with Garp would be another good chance for some exposition on what Blackbeard's hidden powers really are. We've seen Blackbeard with a set of claws in the past, and many people point to those for how he scarred Shanks. And while it's totally possible that those were used, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say there's a lot more to the picture than just slapping those bad boys on. And that special sauce may tie into his connection with rocks, which we know is coming at some point because Blackbeard's ship is literally called the Saber of Zebek, and he's also camped out on Rock's old home base where Garp is heading to right now. And this makes a lot of sense since Garp also fought rocks back at God Valley. This attack on Hachinosu is likely going to be a bit of deja vu for Garp since he's facing off against somebody who likely is carrying on Rock's will. This is a great opportunity for a full God Valley flashback since usually Garp doesn't want to talk about it. But obviously he's going to have Rock's predecessor right in front of him this time. And I think Garp is the perfect person to tell us about Rock's since he dealt with him firsthand. And if Garp is truly meant to die soon, well this would be kind of his last chance to let us know what happened. And many have theorized that Rock's will may still be inside of Blackbeard or that Rox is hiding within Blackbeard's crew or something, so that's yet another thing that could trigger a God Valley flashback from Garp. Like, what if Stronger the Horse is actually Rox because Rox was turned into a stone statue at God Valley, but then given the Pegasus fruit? That probably sounds nuts if you haven't heard it before, but Parvision's got a whole video on it that you can find down below. But having Rox hiding somewhere within Blackbeard's crew, whether it's Stronger or within Blackbeard himself or otherwise, would almost force Garp to discuss what happened on that day. But a key difference between this altercation on Hachinosu and what happened on God Valley is that Garp is now saving somebody that he actually wants to save, instead of protecting the Celestial Dragons who we know that he despises. And instead of working with some chump named Roger, he'll actually get some help this time because Helmeppo will be there. But all of this sets up for a perfect chance to not only learn about rocks in God Valley, but also Blackbeard's past, and the potential link between the two. Garp's hockey might force Blackbeard to use whatever he used against Shanks, and much like we saw with Shanks, this could probably catch Garp off guard and lead to his ultimate downfall. Basically, I just think that Garp is going to die while protecting the new Marine era, which include young Marines like Kobe and Helmeppo who need to be around after the final war to lead whatever version of the government still remains. But at the same time, Kobe dying would be insane, so I'm kind of here 
for it. And what's scary to think about is that Blackbeard has Moria in pudding on his side now, although begrudgingly of course. And if Garp were to die, couldn't Moria just turn him into a zombie and then pudding could access those memories? I would imagine that Garp's hockey is too strong for their fruits to work right now, but if he died first because of Blackbeard's special sauce, then that would be a way for Blackbeard to get some key info from Garp, potentially about what happened at God Valley, about rocks, or maybe even some important government secrets. So while Garp doesn't like talking about what happened in the past, I can kind of see Garp maybe blurting out all of this important information because he doesn't want Blackbeard to be the only one with it. Maybe he'll tell Kobe, Helmeppo, and what is probably a large chunk of sword that's with him about the truth of the past, and that may help them make decisions in the future as we come to the final war. And with all this rocks talk, I couldn't help but think about how insane it would be to see a rocks crew reunion during this battle. I mean, we're already on the original rocks home base. Big Mom and Kaido are probably due to come back in the story at some point, although we don't really know how or when. And Shiki is still lurking around somewhere waiting for something. Not to mention Wang Ji was just on Hachinosu not that long ago during the Rocky Port incident. If Blackbeard truly does have Zebek's will and seems to be the betting favorite to take over the world, I can kind of see all these big names teaming up again. And it would probably give Garp a very understandable death since it took an insane amount of firepower to take out Whitebeard during Marineford. So having a Rocks reunion would be a very fitting end since fighting the Rocks crew is how Garp became hero of the Marines in the first place. And this all might lead Garp to an interesting conclusion. And much like how Whitebeard began to realize how special Luffy was during Marineford, I think this altercation on Hachinosu may be where Garp finally realizes how important his grandson is to the One Piece world. I have a feeling that he has a hunch of that as it is, but I can see Garp kind of being on his last legs, much like Whitebeard, and maybe even in a similar pose because they are both such manly men, and instead of telling Teach that he isn't the one Roger's waiting for, he will proclaim that Luffy is the one Roger's waiting for, that Luffy is the one who's meant to bring the world to the dawn. This would be paramount for the young Marines that follow him, especially those in Sword, because they will likely be the ones to pick up the pieces after it's all said and done, and potentially form a new type of government. Without Garp around to lead them, they will at least have Luffy to use as some type of guide as they enter the final war. And I think seeing Garp fight on this high of a level could be a great chance to showcase what top tier power can really look like in One Piece. Because if Luffy is ever supposed to surpass the greats that we've heard of throughout the story, then maybe it would be a good idea to see the absolute peak of Conquerors and Devil Fruits before that. Like Kaido said, there's only a handful of people that could fight on his level. And since Garp didn't even have a Devil Fruit, but could go toe to toe with Roger, I expect to see an absolutely insane performance from Garp in the battle on Hachinosu. And now that we're heading into the new year, I just want to give you all a huge thank you for how much the channel has grown over just the last few months. I promise you that throughout 2023, the content is going to keep coming and maybe even more consistently than usual. So if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do and also make sure you like the video and maybe even check out one of these two videos that you should probably already see on the screen. Later.